Rainer, where do we have him? Rainer, um, if you use P3, you're going to be too slow. I mean, you could probably take out the first train, but you want to play like perfectly and not lose anything early on. So like um, if you're not P3, I don't know how you're going to get enough damage or survive long enough. Uh, oh, you'll you'll have enough damage without P3. You just won't survive long enough. Like per supply, Jimmy's bio ball is like some of the best damage in co-op. The problem is living, <laughs> which getting to that point. Yeah, yeah I, I think um, you, you should be using Hyperion for the first train. Yeah, when so it's the first train, the first train, the first train should be the first train shouldn't be a problem because the Hyperion can solo it. It's the you know trains after that you have to have built up sufficiently by then. Yeah, I, I put him in F, because I don't think he's good either. <laughs> How about you, Stixbender? I don't think he's nearly as bad as Abathur and Hunter Horner. Well, okay, maybe nearly. Uh, well, um, yeah, Hunter Horner and Abathur, it's like, it, uh, depending on how you look at it, one of them looks way shittier than the other, and it's never the same depending on what angle you're looking at it. It's weird. Uh, anyways, Rainer is definitely better than both of them, I would say. Okay, so is that still uh, F or E? I I think that Tutu is significantly underestimating how effective P3 can be. Uh, Banshees can really rip apart a train. And the biggest thing is, uh, with Banshees, if a train is escaping, uh, you can target down the back end of that train. And even if there's still Escort alive on the train, you can do that from outside of Egger range for the Escort. If you are just, like, cloaked, firing at the back train cart with your nine range banshees uh, that'll work and banshees have a lot of dps so that's good um i think that p3 rainer it, it will be a bit comp dependent but you have plenty of dps you have plenty of range so if your ally is uh tanky or also long ranged you can sit back at relatively safe distance um so you don't have to worry about being flimsy as much. Uh, I think that Jimmy could be a really solid option if you have a strong ally, basically. Oh, and solid. if you have an equally weak ally, you are going to suffer. I think he could probably be as high as D tier. What do you think, you two? But that's the highest. What do you think, you two? Judging from what I hear from, like, the pubs who play Rainer... And like they don't get a Hyperion until like, or they don't get battle cruisers or any air units until like seven, eight minutes. They don't, they probably will waste their Hyperion call downs. I mean, if you know not to waste it, sure. Uh, yeah, but you gotta, if you're, if you're not killing the first, if you're not uh, the first one to fight the train, then you gotta summon your Hyperion later, which I guess works but if you summon it too soon then the train is gone <laughs> and you won't have enough time to kill it uh depending on who your ally is of course um it, it's P3 basically is like always like if you can survive you're going to be strong but can you survive p3 jimmy i think in this situation uh, especially since i would recommend going i would recommend going banshees over battle cruisers partially because of the fact that you can get them faster so you can like start building up army faster like uh on that makes lots sense. of maps on lots of maps i'll use banshees like produced banshees for the first attack wave i wouldn't recommend that on this map because uh you have uh dusk wings by the time the first wave comes so I would say you probably want to use those Banshees to punch rocks, maybe, but just skimp on Cloak until after the first wave. Uh, so you can save a bit of money that way. But um, you should start making Banshees really, really early. And ultimately, I think basically P3 Jimmy here is going to be if you if you just make a bunch of if you make a bunch of air units and you use Hyperion on every train, uh, then you will basically be fine unless your ally messes up anywhere, in which case you have absolutely nothing to bail them out. <laughs> you have nothing to bring to the table when it comes to bailing your ally out if they slip up. So assuming your ally is on, uh, assuming your ally doesn't make any major mistakes, yeah, you'll be fine. If your ally makes any major mistakes, you, you have no tools to compensate. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Raider can compensate. Uh, two things. Uh, first one, uh, I think Banshee's 
per on a per per cost basis are more efficient to get you more supply so you can use the faster Hyperion more uh, more frequently. The second thing is, uh, can Rainer get a Hyperion for every single train? Is that a thing? Oh yeah. Yeah. Late game. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, for, if the Rainer uses the the Hyperion in the first train, can you get get the second train? Uh. Not, not that early. Okay. I don't think I don't know if you can get on the second train. I think you could if you really went for like scrambling out units like crazy. I but don't. either way, you should have enough banshees by the time the second train comes that just banshees plus dusk wings should handle the second train. As I said, the big difficulty spike is when the third train arrives. That's when I think a lot of people are going to die. Well, uh, so the question I just is think, like, yeah, go ahead. The hitting hitting the back of the train thing doesn't work if you're the first one to hit. Yes, this is correct. Oh, hmm. if you're but, the second one, then all the escorts should be dead, and then you can just freely hit, and that's fine. But if you're you're the first one, you if you're the, but here's the thing: if you're the first one, uh, then you can take advantage of the fact that you are a very high DPS commander, so you're giving your ally plenty of time to do their half. So, eh. hmm. and then also sense. technically, if you are the first one and you're hitting the back of the train. Technically, it's not over yet because there's a chance that it bugging out. <laughs> okay, or maybe so... it won't, and then you'll be sad. But there's that tiny chance of not dying. <laughs> tiny chance of not dying. So two two. Um, do you think Rainer is far? What puts Rainer? Uh, what puts Rainer? Uh, in the same tier as Abathur and Han and Horner for you? No, I don't think so anymore. Oh really? Okay, so where do you have him now? I think D is fine. Like, okay. Uh, if you can get to like, uh, this is assuming like you can keep your banshees alive because some people oh, yeah. don't. Uh, get cloak early. Remember that cloak gives plus two range and yeah. stay a good long ways away from Amon. Also get the range upgrade in the armory. That's good. And afterburners in the armory. Just all the armory upgrades are really, really helpful. <laughs> what if you get air? Uh then you are going to suffer a fair bit. You can make Vikings with your Banshees. Uh, you're probably going to need two control groups now. Can the can the Vikings fight big air, like the uh, the Sky Toss one with Tempests? They, they outrange Tempests. They outrange uh, Interceptor Leash range. The Vikings have range. They, they have range. <laughs> okay. So uh, both of you agree with D? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. I think like comparing him to Artanis, it's like his army is better than Artanis's. It's just that he's got less support stuff than Artanis. Like Artanis can bring either Guardian Shell or P with P3, he can bring a wall of 5,000 hit points with Archons or just 400 extra hit points on every ally unit. That's a lot of supporting your That's ally. Support. If only his army was to, was any good. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and, and Raider's problem is the opposite. He can't stay alive. Well, not unless you play really, really well. Uh, okay, so without uh, Prestige. Uh, yeah. yeah. Without Prestige, is he still D? Or does he go down lower? No. <laughs> I'd say he's uh, slightly better Han and Horner without Prestige. So F without... So you, you actually need the third Prestige here, Rebel Raider. You actually need the third Prestige. If you have it... Uh, yeah, he should be fine. Actually, ironically, Artanis and Rainer should do better than you'd expect together for both being D tier because of how like they'd complement each other so well. Yeah, the synergy. But they are still both D tier. Yeah, they have great synergy. It's a shame they're both a D tier commander and you'd be better off slapping one of the, swapping one of them out for an A tier. But they will do better than you'd expect from two D tiers. Or the S tier. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's yeah, going to... Or the S tier can just the S tier. You should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, so yeah, there it is. Oh, I did the thing again. Rainer goes to D tier. Let's move on.